What's up guys, how are you today? I'm Pavlin from Motorcycle Adventures. I'm gonna give you 10 very practical tips for riding on the long distance. The most common question is how many kilometers per day I'm riding? Well, there is no answer on that question. It's very subjective and it depends on many circumstances. For example, where I'm riding? On the highway, I can go between 1000 and 1500 kilometers. On the normal roads, they'll be between 500 and 800 kilometers. If I'm going on the roads with very bad condition or, or off-road, it will be no more than 200-300 kilometers per day. So, maybe the right question is supposed to be how many hours per day? But again, it's, a, it's the same story. If it's a nice weather, if I feel good, if we have a daylight, I can ride up to 15-16 hours. If the weather is bad, if it's raining, uh, if it's in the winter and, and the day is short, well, it will be 8 hours or 4 hours, I don't know. So there is no answer about it. So there is no mathematical system or some kind of logic on that, how long you're gonna ride or how many kilometers per day. About that, I don't have the answer. But what I have, it's a 10 tips. And this is what I'm gonna give you now. Tip number one, start. At what time we have to start? So always wake up before the sunrise. If you do, you'll have enough time for your breakfast, to prepare your bike, maybe to check some news, toilet and so on. Tip number two, luggage. Pack your bags and tight it well on your motorcycle. Make sure that all what you're gonna need on the road, it's on the places where you can easy access it if you need it on the road. Tip number three, petrol. Always refill your bike before you go to sleep. On the next day, it will be ready and waiting for you. Tip number four, timing. So, ride very strict. So, never ride more than two hours and never stop for more than 30 minutes. So, in the bold case, you're losing your concentration. Use the brakes to refill your tank at the same time. If you do this way, you're saving a precious time. Riding on the high speed will not help you at all. You cannot recover already lost time. So you can be involved in the accident or you can die. So don't take this risk, please. Tip number five, food. Always have a nice breakfast before you go. It will give you enough energy to ride until lunchtime before you even think about food. When this moment comes, please eat as light as possible. Things like a, like a big beef steaks or McDonald's are not recommended. Keep some chocolate bars or nuts in your pockets in the case you need it on the way. Tip number six, water. Drink a lot of water. Use camelback instead of the normal bottle of water. I'll explain why. When you have a camelback system, you can drink at any time, even while you're riding. What is happening? Sometimes you're riding in, in not so good condition, 
in the highway for example and the big lorry is going around you overtake you and it is raining and it is windy and you don't have time and you don't want to stop to drink your water but when you have this a camelback you can drink it all the time keep in mind that while you're riding your body consume double more water so don't let yourself to stay without the water it will be a big problem you're gonna losing your concentration you're gonna feel sick and you have to stop and when you stop you're losing your time and actually you can finish with your journey tip number seven backpack so keep your backpack as light as possible even two kilograms will be a big problem after a couple of hours so you start to feel this pressure here around your shoulders and in the end you will, the backpack will finish tight on, on the tile of your back or in the garbage I will recommend to use a body vest instead of backpack when you have a body vest it split the weight around your body and you can ride with it all day without any problems tip number eight coffee the coffee is very powerful stimulant some people cannot live without coffee my advice is to give up the coffee but if you cannot just make sure that you bring enough when you're on the road in in some places like asia for example it's very difficult to find the coffee especially when you're on the road so if you cannot deal with your coffee addiction make sure you have enough for every single day the coffee addiction it's a real and you don't need to test it when you're on the road believe me tip number nine communication so if you're riding in the group make sure that all of you have got um, a nice bluetooth system Senna it's a nice brand and uh, you can connect up to eight devices when you have communication between your riding partners it's like a different world it's so much easier if you ride alone bring your air plugs they make a huge difference you can't believe how big difference is sometimes when I was riding more than 12 to 14 hours per day without air plugs later in the evening I go to bed I try to sleep and my head make like this Boof, 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 all the time I need maybe an hour or maybe two to get relaxed and to be able to sleep when you're wearing your air plugs all of this can be avoided so simple air plugs and my tenth and the last tip always stop on time it's mean you have to stop before the sunset you need to have enough time to find your hotel to have a dinner to unload your bike to prepare yourself for the next day to checking the maps and maybe to see something from the area you're staying so it's very important if you do this way so the next morning you wake up fresh and you'll be ready to go and one bonus advice it is a long motorcycle trip it is not a race please don't ride fast there is nobody to count the time it doesn't matter how fast you're going it doesn't matter at that moment at that corner how fast you'll go to the corner and how fast you'll get out of the corner once again it's not a race 30 seconds more or one minute more or, or one hour more it doesn't really matter the most important part of your journey is to get to the point you plan and of course to come back home safe in one piece that was all for today i hope you like it if you do please like and subscribe for a new video every week ride safe ciao